Hey guys, Minimal Escapes here, and today I'm going to be doing a little jar terrarium. So, in front of you, you can see the this jar thing. I just picked it up off off the street, garbage. As you can see, this little faucet is broken, but it's fine. We won't need it. These really work great as terrariums, and it also came with this little lid here. So I'll be able to put that on, keep everyone inside, keep everyone happy, and it should keep the substrate and plants kind of humid, so it'll keep it nice and moist. And starting with this, I'm gonna go for kind of a the base of a tree kind of look, and hopefully it'll turn out and the inhabitants should be happy with that. All right, first things first, is I've got this bag here of media. It's called Lika. It's gonna act kind of as a base layer for me inside of this. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just these kind of little clay balls and really I'm just gonna put a small layer on the bottom kind of like that but obviously I'm gonna cover the whole thing. So. Should be good enough. So the idea of putting this stuff in is to keep the water out of whatever dirt you decide to put in. So if you use aqua soil, not that big of a deal because it can, but a lot of dirt will start to like grow molds and funguses when you do let it sit for too long in moisture and the plants don't really enjoy that either. The next thing, as you can see here, is just a little piece of window screen that I cut. I got a big roll from Home Depot, pretty cheap. So I just cut from that. I'm just gonna put this here to keep whatever my substrate's gonna be out of this leak layer. So that way, when I do decide to deconstruct it, it's gonna be easier and I can keep them separate and it's also gonna stop the substrate from dipping down and sucking up moisture. So the next thing I'm going to add is this charcoal. What this is going to do is kind of keep it fresh, suck up all the stuff in the air. And inside this charcoal, there's also some springtails. I won't be able to get them on camera. They're little white creatures, and they're going to be able to eat any mold that kind of develops in this system. So I'm just going to add in, oh, I'll just add this whole thing in. It's definitely a lot for something this small, but it's definitely worth it just to ensure the freshness of the terrarium. And now, with this, I can add in my substrate. It's just gonna be some soil with some sand in it, just some play sand, just to keep it kind of looser. Hopefully that'll keep it nice. Fresh for everything. There we go. Now that the substrate's in, the next thing I want to add is this nice piece of cork bark right here to kind of emulate what a tree looks like. So, you know, it's pretty easy. There's not much to it, and I'll just move some substrate around. Pour a little bit more in the back. There is some space behind it, so I want to fill that in. And there shouldn't be too much problems with this. There we go. I'm just gonna test fit, make sure that the lid fits, which it does not. So what I'm gonna do now is the top of this cork bart here, I'll just move you. See how it sticks up a little bit up there? Cork bart's really easy to work with. I can just break it off and now I've got a smaller piece here that I can use later on. And now it fits perfect. So that's wonderful. Taking that off, I also have these rocks here that I'm just gonna throw in just to make it look a little bit nicer, you know, more appealing to the eye. Just in front of this log here, really. Um, I was gonna add two, but looking now, it definitely looks like there's not much room in there for anything else. So, what I wanna do is 
just add like a handful of pea gravel just to kind of make, make the scale feel a little bit bigger, you know? Really scale it up so that it looks like it's at the base of the tree and that might be a larger rock. Now what I'm gonna add is the plants, moss, really whatever I wanna see go in here. So first things first is just, I don't even know what this plant is. It just looks really cool. So I'm gonna kinda jam it in here on the side. Just pop it into the soil. I'm just gonna use my fingers for this cause it's gonna just be really easy to do. There we go. That looks really good. The next thing I've got is this Uba coli. It's very dry, actually. This will be good for it to get replanted. Right here, it's Earth Star, as they're sometimes called. I'm just gonna pop that right here. Like that. Make sure I some dirt around it. Perfect. Now the space is nice and filled out. I'm very happy with how this is looking right now. Some nice greenness. The only thing I think I'm gonna add, because this is a sealed terrarium, I'm going to be able to add some aquatic moss. It's really gonna be kind of iffy on how it does. It's gonna depend on how much I spray to see how moist it stays. And that should help the moss kind of take. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of over here, just throw in some of this, I believe it's a mix of weeping and flame moss. And I think that that looks very good. Can't really see the moss from this angle. It's right here. I really like how that's come out, it looks like the base of a tree with some underground, overgrown foliage. Now the final step is to add the inhabitants. And I've got them right here, Get a piece of wood. These are isopods. You know, you can find these outside, potato bugs, pill bugs, whatever you wanna call them. I'm just gonna add them into this and hopefully they really like it in here. I'm just gonna shake them off. It's perfect. Got a couple more actually that I can take and put into this, but that's basically it. Now that the inhabitants are in, I'm just gonna give this a little spritz with some water just to get it moist and I'll put the lid on and then I will come back tomorrow and see how it's looking. So just a little spray just to get the plants and the soil slightly moist. I don't want to go too, too high because I know that these guys don't actually like that high of a humidity. So I'm going to try to keep it down, you know, let it air out a little bit right now. And then that should be good. So I'll put this on. I think that's just looking fantastic. Let's take you closer and see. And I will come back tomorrow and show you how it looks.